If we mean everybody is active, that means nobody misses out, and that includes women and girls. I'm enormously proud of the first year of the strategy. Um, many, many highlights. For me, I guess, uh, I would say one of the, the, the big highlights was the uh, setting of a target for uh, our governance uh, that we wanted our partners, anyone who uh, we invest over $50,000 with, um, to have 40% uh, or more women. Um, and that really has changed uh, the conversation. The government will be investing $2.7 million through High Performance Sport New Zealand to improve female representation in high performance coaching. The barriers around girls and women in sport have to do with opportunity and resources, or lack thereof. People are interested in women's sport, despite the fact that we rarely see it on TV. representation is key. So if young women don't have like figures of other women or other people, other races, um, other diversity backgrounds, then it's less likely for them to engage in sport and take those opportunities. For me, the really huge thing is the level of momentum that you can see right across the sector at the moment and the commitment that sports organisations from board level right through to grass levels are showing towards the strategy. We need women in those leadership roles to bring people through and make sure that that journey all the way from starting off in play and active recreation to high performance sport, women have got a role at every stage of that to lead. Opening up their eyes and minds to see beyond um, what they're capable of now and what they could be capable of in the future. 